All right. Some cyclists just letting them pass before I start the video. Yep, they've gone. Hello, guys. Welcome back to the channel. And we are in the fabulous, the best place in the world. We're in the Lake District this weekend, or I think so anyway. Love this place and always a pleasure to be back. Now, before I get into anything regarding this weekend, I wanted to say a little thank you for the sort of reaction and support I felt really um, to last week's video, which is all about shooting at popular locations as landscape photographers. And I kind of got what I wanted to hear from most people about saying, you know, we should go to these places, there's nothing wrong with it. It's something that I, I want to continue doing throughout my land, landscape photography career, really. So it was great to have the support from many other landscape photographers. So yeah, thank you very much for that. Now, yeah, we're in the Lake District this weekend, really excited. Nice and simple, I hope. All I've done is book to Friday off work and book myself into a hostel in Ambleside for two nights, a nice central location in the lakes for anyone that doesn't know the area. And I haven't done too much planning. I'm just gonna take it nice and easy, try and go with the flow. Maybe do a couple of fell hikes. Hopefully get a couple of sunrises in as well. So I'm hoping for a bit of woodland photography at some stage as well. So very exciting stuff. But yeah, um, this evening, I'm just gonna take a nice, slow, labored hike up Luffrig Fell. And carrying on from last week's video, again, a very popular location for landscape photographers. Very popular indeed, but I've never been up there. So very exciting for myself. And as always, I really hope you guys will stick with me in the video. Um, we've got some very typical Lake District Cumbrian weather um, at the minute and throughout the whole weekend as forecast, um, which is basically rain for about two or three minutes, then sunshine for 10 minutes, and then kind of repeats in that cycle over a series of hours, which in my opinion are superb conditions for landscape photography. So yeah, all in all, really looking forward to the weekend and looking forward to this adventure up Luffrig Fell this evening. So come with me. absolutely beautiful it's very windy I'll probably turn around this way you can see there just look at that gorgeous patches of fleeting light all around here um, just perfect for landscape photography the conditions are amazing albeit a little bit windy um, it was forecast 40 40 to 50 mile an hour gusts so I didn't even bother packing the drone um, but yeah can't complain too much just absolutely gorgeous up here one thing that I'm really liking so far is the vastness of it up here um, it's like i said it's a very popular location but if you want to search around and explore this place for foreground there is so much land here so many different beautiful crags rocks and streams and little puddles and tarns it's absolutely amazing um, i'd say there is millions of photographs to be had up here so you know when we talk of popular locations this sort of thing doesn't bother, bother me i'll show you a photograph here right as an example now, I took this in my New Zealand days. A lot of you will already know this scene and this subject. For anyone that does not, it is called the Wanaka tree. And it is in a town in New Zealand on the South Island called Wanaka. And it is an extremely popular location, a very well photographed scene. And it is incredibly beautiful. And it is even more beautiful when you stood there in person. Trust me, it's gorgeous. Now, the thing with the Wanaka tree is there's not much room for variety and don't get me wrong there'll be a lot of people watching this saying you know 
there's always room for variety. There's always ways you can be original. And I agree with that. However, the Wanaka tree, to get the best possible image, you know, there's not much room for variety, trust me, there really isn't. And that's why so many of the images are, are pretty much exactly the same, or at least very, very similar. Whereas this sort of place is just beautiful. The vastness means there are hundreds of opportunities, like I said, for different types of photographs, which is amazing. It's one thing that really attracted me to this location. So I'm nearly at the top of the fell now. I'm assuming it's gonna be extremely windy up there. So yeah, let's go and see about that. <laughs> Now, if you look behind me over my right shoulder there, you'll see there's a really, really nice section of sort of fleeting light. Beautiful sun rays coming down from the moody clouds. Um, so I'm gonna quickly get myself set up here because it just so happens to be a beautiful scene as well. You might be able to see there's a little tarn down there. Absolutely amazing, so very windy. Unfortunately, I haven't got my new tripod. I've got this old wobbly beast, but it's gonna have to do. So I'm gonna get set up here now and try and get this shot. Missed it. Missed the light. It went as fast as it came it, it was very very quick honestly these clouds are extremely fast moving and it is so bloody windy oh what an adventure this is a um, little bit of a missed opportunity but there's nothing i could have done about it honestly i couldn't even i didn't even have enough time to take a handheld shot it was just so fleeting but i'm gonna, I'm gonna assume there's um there's gonna be more opportunities like that to be had now if you look here just as an example Beautiful little tarn down here, if, if you can even call it that. It's like a big puddle. And gorgeous scene in the background. Um, I'm not gonna take an image there because it doesn't quite do it for me, but just an example of all the different opportunities there are up here in these sorts of places. Bloody hell, that wind is strong. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep exploring up on the top of this fell. Enjoy it, couple of hours till sunset. I'm gonna fight the wind. Um, Funnily enough, it is very mild, so it's not like I'm up here shivering or anything, but uh, I'm definitely going to have to be a bit selective about where I take my photographs as not to get blown off the side of Lufrig Fell. Let's continue exploring. Woo! So finally a little bit of respite from that wind. Absolutely crazy. Um, beautiful to be up here, but yeah, the wind is creating a little bit of a dilemma, a bit of an issue. Um, I'll try and explain it. So behind you guys, facing that way, is a easterly direction. So at the minute, not particularly interesting view-wise or weather-wise. However, this way is west facing. We're just getting into the golden hour now, and obviously that is where the sun is gonna be setting. Now the dilemma is, that is where all that wind's coming from blasting us from a westerly direction so you know that's why it's nice and calm here because we're being sheltered by this peak here and we're nearly at the top of um, Lufrig Fell by the way at the proper peak so I'm excited to get up there now when we get up there we should get a beautiful view of Grasmere actually like Lake Grasmere and I'd like to get a photograph of it but like I said the wind is going to be crazy up there so I've really got to try and find a way in which I can set my tripod up my wobbly old tripod and you know not get blasted by that wind so i can get a nice sharp image and hopefully fingers crossed we get some beautiful light up there as well or at least some nice moody skies um, so yeah let's go and see what we can find up there oh, hopefully there's no wind as well to the peak I hope you can hear me as predicted it is extremely windy oh there's my trig point good god I'm nearly getting blown off the side of this thing here and let me show you down there is Grasmere Grasmere Lake and I misjudged it a little bit because I'm just gonna get down a bit of shelter because you can't quite see the whole lake I need to be fur further down towards Lufreak Terrace I think it's called uh, but not to worry, I think I'm going to leave that for maybe tomorrow. 
because it's somewhere that I really want to go. But if you look over in this direction, as I said to the west, bit of rain coming in now, the light is just absolutely spectacular. And that's where all the action is going to be happen, happening over the next half an hour. So I'm really excited for that. It's going to be worth sticking around for. So I'm going to spend the next half hour, 40 minutes, just trying to find one composition. I'll be happy leaving this adventure with just one shot. So that's what I'm going to do for now. Absolutely amazing. There's no one up here as well because it's just too windy. Beautiful, beautiful. it is windy and I'm having to improvise a little bit I've been doing a little bit of handheld shooting and the tripod is staying securely fastened to the side of the bag it's not going to do me any favours especially this rickety old thing it's not going to work and on that note actually I should probably explain a little bit about this new tripod situation now I briefly mentioned in last week's video at Trafan that I bought my tripod, my new tripod, and my new tripod head from two separate companies, which is true. Bought my legs from Wex Photo Video, and that arrived within two to three days. So I've had that for about two weeks. So, and I bought my head directly from Manfrotto. So spoiler alert, the tripod and the head is a Manfrotto. <laughs> so that's all I'm telling you for now. But yeah, the head's still not arrived. Um, I did call them up a couple of weeks ago and they said it could take up to three weeks. We're in the third week now, so it shouldn't be too long. To be honest, I'm not massively bothered because I've waited the best part of the year to actually decide which tripod I wanted. So what's another couple of weeks um, and it should be here soon, fingers crossed. But yeah, a uh, bit of handheld shooting. Uh, I've took one or two photographs already. The light's not quite as nice now. We're still about 10 minutes to the sunset, but I think it was much better really around in the golden hour, you know. Um, but yeah, we've got a really, really nice scene here. Down here in the foreground, I've been using um, Lufrig Tarn, which is just absolutely beautiful. And then just all these gorgeous sort of hills and fells in the background. I think we're looking over towards the old man of Coniston and actually Scarfell Pike over there somewhere. Um, beautiful scene, um, really sort of gorgeous, moody sky. As I mentioned earlier, the light was a bit better. We had a little bit of orangey red color in the sky, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I did get a couple of shots and literally all I've been doing, I'll show you physically, I was lying down like this and I was just placing my camera sort of on the ground the best that I could and just literally looking down to the viewfinder. I've got my 18 to 55 millimeter lens on um, and I was shooting at about 45 millimeter so I was trying to take a bit of a, a more compact image and just get Lufrig tan in the foreground and then those beautiful fells in the background you know just a little bit of the sky whilst it was nice as well um i will say at this stage my settings i was knocking my iso up a little bit i've got my like i said my 18 55 millimeter lens on and that's got vr vibration reduction which really really helps when you're shooting handheld as well and i give myself a bit of a limit of 1 80th of a second that's my slower shutter speed that i'll use when i'm using it handheld when i'm shooting handheld and that's even with the vr on so I set it to 180th and then I sort of adjust my ISO accordingly and I shoot an f5.6 just to try and let as much light into that lens as possible uh, and then ISO 250 so you know I'm not cranking it up too much and yeah pretty much just taking a couple of shots of this scene nothing you know too incredible but just a really really nice view a little bit of a snapshot a couple of the images but I think the sky and the conditions the beautiful light that we had earlier really made to help uh, really helped to make the images you know more than a snapshot let's say so hopefully they're not too bad i'll go back to the hostel now and see how they are do a little bit of editing and stuff and yeah hopefully they're nice but i'm gonna leave it there i'm gonna go down now get out of this bloody wind but i have thoroughly enjoyed it up here on Lufrig fell really hope you guys have enjoyed the video i'll show you these probably a couple of images now and yeah hopefully they're sharp enough <laughs> but yeah thanks ever so much for watching if you're new here please do subscribe and yeah cheers for the support thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next week out Ugh.